If I had it my way, I would wear leggings or jeans every day. So jeans, yes, leggings, no. You can definitely get away with wearing jeans to work, especially if you're doing darker denim, which is gonna look a little bit more crisp. You just wanna be a little bit more mindful with what you're pairing it with. So maybe instead of wearing sneakers, you're wearing like a nice loafer, a good pair of flats, or a pair of heels. I have um, my more expensive sort of black pant, mm -hmm. a navy blue, and what about color? That's gonna make you, you know, kind of stand out in a room, make you look like you have a ton of confidence, and like, it's just kind of fun. You can tell that these are made nicely. The material's kind of thick, it's got a bit of stretch, which is really nice, kind of a really crisp cuff is important, this little slit here. See, I didn't even notice that. It's a nice detail. <laughs> How many work pants should I have? I think three. A plain pair of either black, navy, or gray. Maybe something that's bright and a little bit more colorful. And then a nice pair of jeans that you feel comfortable wearing to the office. So for someone like me, mid-level career, how much should I be looking to spend? I expect to spend at least 80. Um, maybe even going up to like 100, 115. That's kind of a sweet spot. You really want to make sure that they fit well. It was time to put the lessons Tiffany taught me to the test. While light jeans work in some more casual work environments, I realize dark jeans are much easier to pull off at my office. Plus, I feel like I can wear them with more stuff I already have in my closet, instead of having to buy more appropriate tops or shoes that will dress up my lighter jeans. Once I realized good work pants come down to fit and material before anything else, I was more confident picking out styles with colors and prints, no more just reaching for black. Leggings, unfortunately, are just a no-go in any semi-professional work setting, but I'll save my favorite pair for the weekend. 